Direct and Indirect Speech We can report the words of a speaker in two ways. Number one, we may quote his actual words. This is called direct speech. Number two, we may report what he said without quoting his exact words. This is called indirect or reported speech. Direct Rama said, I am very busy now. Indirect Rama said that he was very busy then. Note the two parts of a sentence in direct speech. She said to me, I am going home. My father said, it's time to work hard. Rules for changing direct speech into indirect speech. When the reporting verb is in past tense, the following rules are observed in changing direct speech into indirect. Rule 1. All present tenses of the direct speech are changed into the corresponding past tenses. Thus, A. A simple present becomes a simple past. Direct. He said, I am unwell. Indirect. He said that he was unwell. B. A present continuous becomes a past continuous. Direct. He said, my master is writing letters. Indirect. He said that his master was writing letters. C. A present perfect becomes a past perfect. Direct. He said, I have passed the examination. Indirect. He said that he had passed the examination. D. The will of the future tense is changed into would. The shell of the future tense is changed into should or would. May is changed into might and can into could. Direct. He said, the man shall come. Indirect. He said that the man should come. Direct. He said the man will come. Indirect. He said that the man would come. Direct. He said the man may come. Indirect. He said that the man might come. Direct. He said the man can come. Indirect. He said that the man could come. Rules for changing direct speech into indirect speech. Rule 2. Direct. He said, The horse died during the night. Indirect. He said that the horse had died in the night. Rule 3. If the reporting verb is in the present tense, the tenses of the direct speech do not change. For example, we may rewrite the examples in A, B and C, putting the reporting verb in the present tense. Thus, he says he is unwell. He says his master is writing letters. He says he has passed the examination. Note, there is one exception to the above rules. If the reported speech relates to some universal or habitual fact, then the present simple in the reported speech is not changed into the corresponding past but remains exactly as it is. Direct. He said, We cannot be quite happy in this life. Indirect. He said that we cannot be quite happy in this life. Direct. He said, The earth moves round the sun. Indirect. He said, that the earth moves round the sun. Direct. He said, God rules and governs all things. Indirect. He said, that God rules and governs all things. Rules for changing direct speech into indirect speech. Pronouns of the first and second persons are changed to the third. Direct. He said, I am unwell. Indirect. He said that he was unwell. Direct. The gentleman said to the beggar, I know you. Indirect. The gentleman told the beggar that he knew him. Direct. The man told the girl, 
I know you and your father. Indirect. The man told the girl that he knew her and her father. Words expressing nearness are generally changed into words expressing distance. Thus, now becomes then, this becomes that, these becomes those, here becomes there, ago becomes before, thus becomes so, today becomes that day, tomorrow becomes the next day, yesterday becomes the day before, last night becomes the night before. Direct. He said, I am glad to be here this evening. Indirect. He said that he was glad to be there that evening. Interrogative sentences. In reporting questions, the indirect speech is introduced by some such verbs as asked, inquired, etc. When the question is not introduced by an interrogative word, the reporting verb is followed by whether or if. Direct. He said to me, what are you doing? Indirect. He said to me, what I was doing. Direct. Where do you live? Asked the stranger to Misha. Indirect. The stranger inquired of Misha where she lived. Direct. The policeman said to the men, where are you going? Indirect. The policeman inquired of the men where they were going. Direct. He said, Will you listen to such a man? Indirect. He asked them whether they would listen to such a man. Direct. Do you suppose you know better than your own father? jeered his angry mother. Indirect. His angry mother jeered and asked whether he supposed he knew better than his own father. Commands and Requests In reporting commands and requests, the indirect speech is introduced by some verb expressing command or request, and the imperative mood is changed into the infinitive. Direct Rama said to Arjun, Go away. Indirect Rama ordered Arjun to go away. Direct. He said to him, Please wait here till I return. Indirect. He requested him to wait there till he returned. Direct. Call the first witness, said the magistrate. Indirect. The magistrate commanded them to call the first witness. Direct. He shouted, Let me go. Indirect. He shouted at them to let him go. Direct. He said, Be quiet and listen to his words. Direct. He urged them to be quiet and listen to his words. Exclamations and Wishes In reporting exclamations and wishes, the indirect speech is introduced by some verb expressing exclamation or wish. Direct. He said, Alas, I am undone. Indirect. He exclaimed sadly that he was undone. Direct. Alice said, How clever I am. Indirect. Alice exclaimed that she was very clever. Direct. He said, Bravo, you have done well. Indirect. He applauded him, saying that he had done well. Direct. Oh, help me heaven, he cried. I will never steal again. Indirect. He called upon heaven to witness his resolve never to steal again. The tense of the reported speech remains unchanged if the reporting verb is in the present or future tense. Exclamations and Wishes If the reporting verb is in the past tense, the tense of the reported speech is also changed to a past form of the verb. The following general rule is observed. Number 1. V1 is changed to V2. Number 2. V2 is changed to had plus V3.
expressing factual truths in reported speech if the reported speech expresses some universal truth habit historical incident or permanent fact its tense remains unchanged even if the reporting verb is in the past tense number 1 v1 is changed to v2 number 2 v2 is changed to had plus v3 questions in reported speech when changing a question into indirect speech change the reporting verb into ask inquire or enquire or demand the preposition of is used with inquire and demand she demanded of me where i was going the question form of the reported speech is changed into the statement form and the question mark is removed the conjunction if or whether is used to introduce the reported speech if the question begins with auxiliaries like is are am was were do does did has have had shall can may etc no conjunction is used before the question words who whom whose what when where how why which etc exclamations and wishes when the reported speech consists of an exclamatory sentence the reporting verb must be changed to some appropriate verb as exclaim cry out pray etc the conjunction that is used to introduce the reported speech the exclamatory form of the sentence is changed into the statement or assertive form when the reported speech is an imperative sentence the reporting verb must be changed to some such verb which signifies a command advice request prohibition etc the imperative mood is changed into the infinitive 2 plus v1 